G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me JD and this episode as I said last episode we're going to tap this iron we're going to set up a couple more steel smelters going to do lots of things but I'm up here and the base is down here and the base is flashing at me you know most of these balls are actually they're allocated now a robot is coming out to place them they'll get there when they get there um the southern wall is still being peppered a little bit but there's two radars that can't be built and i've got one on me but i don't have any iron to make any more and i could just run down to the base and just run along, along the iron belt and pick up some iron but i'm up here and i don't want to run down there so we're gonna make our robots bring us iron ideally i should put down a passive provider chest like here, an inserter to pull iron and put in the network. But passive provider chests also are in the network. There are no, none available for the robots to build and, and use because I haven't automated it. So we're going to go with a slightly different method, which is we're going to deconstruct these belts, which will have iron on them, which will then put iron in the network, which will then let the bots bring us iron. Um, at the same time, because we have 1,000 construction robots and they're all busy, we're going to give them more jobs to do. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extend out this robot network a little bit further. Uh, to there, it seems. And I'm going to look at the power network and make sure that my lasers are powered, even if I get rid of, like, pieces around here. And this power pole looks fairly important. Technically, it's powered that way as well, but um, I want to put a big power pole here somewhere and hopefully not get hit by a train. And then I should be able to get rid of all of those lasers, etc. Along with all those trees. Uh, and that tree. Uh, I might want another rare report actually let's not deconstruct this guy because we can use him to power up a, a, another rare report yep that'll give us a bit more coverage um okay so now we've done that i want a pretty blueprint for miners this one's our nice square one that we used before so let's copy from there to there and it's easy to do all this from map view and we'll go put some miners there overlap our blueprint miners there miners there miners there 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 everywhere that's required I'm going to see that our train tracks are going to get in the way. So we might end up manually reversing the belts and bringing the iron out the other way. Um, but the robots have got orders. They, they can go build that stuff. We don't need to stand around and babysit them. Um, they'll just get it done. Sorry, um, I, I, I needed a moment to... Yeah, cough my heart, heart out. Oh. Okay. Um, as you can see, there are robots, construction robots, slowly bringing us iron. I can make two radars. Uh, dump them on the floor, as we've done previously, and have the robots deconstruct them, which will put them in the network, which will get those two built. Um, same time, this is now all defended. So all of that can now go. This cliff that was frustrating us earlier can also go. Uh, that cliff can go as well, just because why not? And we can copy this in its entirety and plop it up here. Uh, now, there is an underground here that I need to link up. So again, with our ghosting, we can just ghost that in place, uh, which means I'm probably going to recopy that. Uh, actually, I need the input inserter as the input splitter as well. Uh, 
get our copy file. Pop that on there. Uh, put down another one. And you know what? We will even put down a fourth one. Now, I can't see this area. So the blueprint did not get copied into that area. Um, it's something I will have to make sure that I put down a radar or put down a road, well, put down a radar or walk close enough to or whatever's required so I can see that corner so I can make sure that that corner actually gets built. Um, same time, we're gonna get our robots to clear off any more of these gun turrets that they can reach, which is none of them. But we'll pre-mark them for deconstruction. Uh, robots have got this half built. Uh, we're still at zero available construction robots in the network because I'm just giving them orders to do as fast as they're getting them done. Uh, those two can disappear. Those guys can disappear. That gun turret, that gun turret, that gun turret can all disappear. There's obviously combat going on over here that I can't see. So let's get more radars built. We'll have a radar down here. We took damage, so I want to double up just at this corner. Uh, put two more on the ground. Uh, deconstruct them as well. Okay, so we've got part of a mining, uh, part part of an iron outpost done. Um, yes, I. I mm, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, six belts. Okay. We're gonna want. We're gonna want an alternate balancer, I think. No, we won't. Not today. We'll do that in another episode. Uh, so I'm gonna trim off the excess belts. Uh. And I actually think because this side's undefended, we're just going to squeeze our belts through here. I'm not sure how we'll do it, but we'll, we'll squeeze them through there somewhere. Um, I need a loading station, which we've built a couple of now. So I'm just going to just really quickly just blueprint a loading station. Uh, we're going to pop it right about there. Hook up. Uh, and I want to turn my personal robots back on. So turn them off. Hook that up to there. We can then put down a chain signal here. Uh, and a chain signal there. And a chain signal there. With a full signal after the merge. Uh, use the lovely train ghosting, train track ghosting tool, which is hit and miss at the best of times. But... It'll serve us beautifully for this purpose. Come on, get building. And I want to bring one signal there. Get this loop in and done. Okay. Except I do want to make a small change. I actually want to have two inputs to this one. Uh, one for iron to make iron and one for iron to make steel. So I want two ways for this, these trains to get in. And then around here, around the curve, what we'll actually do is we will put down two chain signals and then not have a full signal after it okay what this will actually do is this will let either of these two trains come into this station and refill um, with iron um, but not leave until uh not bl not block the other station so i uh, block the other train so if I have one parked in here waiting for steel and one parking for, for iron, one of these two trains can always get through. It means I'm going to also at the same time park at least two trains off the main line. Um, okay, so now we need to hook up, we need to say goodbye trees. 
because they are the real enemy. Um, we want to put down a balancer, and I'm going to use a 4-4, four four, even though I've got 6 belts coming in. I'm still going to use a 4-4, four four, and I'm just going to merge probably these two together, and probably those two together. Um, it won't be perfectly even, but it doesn't need to be perfectly even. I've said that before, and I'll, I'll say it again. It doesn't... It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be close enough is good enough. Uh, bring that one down. Bring that one down. Bring this one across. And put that there. So we now have, if the trees would go away, and unfortunately I've got, i got robots up here waiting to put stuff down, and robots somewhere in the base waiting to pick up the trees. And this is leading to some of the confusion we're having with robots just standing around waiting for things to do. Okay, put that there, that there, do that one, that one, get rid of that tree. Uh, stack inserters. I'm guessing I'm out. Five. I need gears. Gears need iron. I don't have any iron. He says standing in an iron mine. Mm. Make another one of those. I'll put down another radar. And I will put down a few more lasers at this corner. Did a radar not get popped out here, up here? Let's put a radar up there. Uh, put that one on the ground, deconstruct it. Oh, my own robot's deconstructed. That's what the problem is. Uh, you need power. Oh, no. We did get some stack inserters. There are still seven waiting to be made. Okay. So, we've got half a half a train station built. We've got half of a steel smelter partially built. Um, it's now definitely time that we run down, resupply at the main base, build a couple of trains, build a couple of unloading stations, um, and go forth from there. So, let's pick up these as we walk past. Uh, um, let's do let's do those yep yeah, so low density structure is one of the items we need uh, light yet sturdy material very useful for spaceships and personal equipment we want to unlock this because I would love some personal lay, uh, personal uh, better power armor and some personal laser defense so that has a couple of prerequisites. One is advanced electronics two, which will tick off. The second one is power armor, which is a very, very big, significant upgrade to the modular armor that we're currently running. Um, this is all, all science that doesn't require purple science. So it should be reasonably quick to get done. Um, but yeah, at the moment we just need to get back into the base. Our night vision is dead because our little robots have chewed all the power, uh, all the solar power that we're making in a daily, uh, in our day. Uh, okay. So we want some iron. Yep, I'll have lots of that, please. Uh, at six, I need to make seven of those. I need to make no green circuits, please. That's just too much. We'll just find a green circuit belt and just run along it. Actually, I think the car's still full of green circuits. Yep. 
Okay, five, six, seven, ten. Radars, 14 of them, done. All right, so we'll get that started. We'll go back and we'll look at where this is up to. Um, as you can see, 10,000 robots try and charge at once. It's always a good sign. And our power is almost... No, it's maxing out. Okay. So, same time, we really, really need to do something about power. Um, and I did say that last blueprint wouldn't have got been placed. So, let's pop that over the top of that. Row reports. Put down another one of them. that into the trash network uh, get a upgrade planner and I wish to replace shitty power poles with better power poles and select done because we're out of shitty power poles uh, delete okay so, robots are still slowly building things, slowly upgrading things. Uh, if I can hook up a power connection to this guy, he can then probably have the range to do almost everything. Um, we'd need another one all the way up here somewhere. Done. Okay, so robots have lots of things to do, as always. Uh, we've made a stack of those so they can go in our trash slots to go up there and be placed. Um, what else are we missing? Uh, we're now making a heap of radars which can again go in our trash slots to go off and be placed. Um, all the different places we need them. Uh, iron is now running absolutely flat out and it's not making it up that far anymore because our iron is actually running out uh, these belts that I pulled up I should really replace done okay so now we need a couple of unload stations um, we've got one already for copper so again it should be a fairly easy copy paste uh, we'll just go from there to there now if I hold down the shift button I should get mm, I get to look at what the blueprint looks like before I save it or paste it back down. So I'm actually gonna copy from there to there so I get sort of the side bits of track as well. I don't need all of this. This can all go. I just wanna take it to the end of that balancer. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of all this and I'm doing this by just holding right click on everything I don't want. And then I'm gonna save it. So I need, well, I need, and it doesn't line up. Of course it doesn't line up. I need one there. We can get rid of this power pole and hook that in. But, it was obviously gonna go too far north. Now it's not saying I don't want another one further north. But I probably just deconstruct, undeconstruct, get rid of the ghosts. I probably want it like potentially on the same line, but I probably want it all the way up here for our steel. So again, robots are wonderful. We can just click like this and they can place what they can place. And what they can't place, they're gonna leave until some cliff explosives get brought over and um Take out the cliffs. Uh, okay, so now that all that's done, I want a radar in there as well, because I want to be able to see that top corner. Um, this can be just a plain, simple loop station. It doesn't need to be connected up to the main line like everything else is. Uh, I do need to move this RoboPort and bring this in like that with a full signal and a full signal after the merge and a chain signal and a chain signal before the merge or the crossover 
Um, so that's to come down, and I want this one to probably come across, and then come on across and up. And that was a mistake. That goes in there. Put a normal signal in there as well. Wait for the robots to place their place everything and blow everything up. Uh, we're going to need this coal line obviously extended or this fuel line extended. So that comes from down here. There we go. Our night vision just died again. Uh, over the train track. Underground, there to almost there. I'll do. Uh, then we're gonna need some trains, which need steel. And of course, we don't have any steel. It's the one thing we're trying to improve. Okay, pick up some steel. I need. What are we doing? We're doing one fours, aren't we? So I'm gonna need two trains, and then we need a, a lot of locomotives. So these have got iron. I need five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Uh, okay, turns out we still need, we need some wooden boxes. That's easy enough. I still need some stack inserters. Okay, it turns out I need to craft more stack inserters. Uh, yellow ammo can disappear. I don't need it. Um, what else do I need? I do not need normal power poles. They can go away. Uh, wood can go away. More wood can go away. What else can we clear out of our inventory really quickly? Um, robots. So I have a heap of robots in my inventory. Um, what I strongly suggest that you do when you get to robots is you can look in your power armor and I can support 10 robots at once and two charging at once. But 10 robots take up as much room in your inventory as a stack of 50. So I recommend you, you request 50. And then I recommend if you've got an auto trash especially, you auto trash 50. And it means that you will have 50 in your inventory at all times. If you pick up others by putting down a robot, picking up a robot that happens to be full of robots, You'll just take the robots and you'll trash them and they'll go back to storage where hopefully you've got a recycling system, which I haven't set up yet, to put them back into this chest to then put them into rover ports or, or request them into players' inventories or wherever they need to go. Uh, I don't want that anymore. I don't want that anymore. Um, I want trains. Uh, no, I need two train stations. Bump, bump. Okay, so we'll start at this one. Oh, that's a red thing. Red is bad. Go away, fighters. Have some more lasers, so that should fix it. Uh, you don't have power. That's shameful. Okay. You're also missing bits and pieces. I'm willing to bet it's because we just do not have enough train tracks. Okay. And that's not done yet because I'm still handcrafting. Okay, so I want to call you Iron Unload. Which probably means... Well, that's not meant to be called Copper Load. Ah, uh, manual. You can come to this unload station. Uh, yeah. There was a small fault with the train station because I copied it. It took it took the name of the copper station, which I do not want, obviously. Uh, Yep. Hey you, get back here. I said go there.
Robots, you're waiting on solar panels to recharge. You're going to be there forever. Uh, I'm out of red circuits. Damn. That's a lot harder to go pick up. Okay. Green circuits. No, I've got plenty of those. It's just the reds I need. Which are here. Do you have... You nightmare. Go. Uh, add weight condition. Circuit condition. Done. That's going to be a nightmare to clean up. Okay. Let's just collect this. Collect this. Pretend nothing happened. It's fine. We'll fix it in a minute. Uh, okay. Make those. Then we'll go fix our mistakes. Being overzealous with a copy paste. Uh, make some more of those. Okay, so because I set the train to have a circuit condition of greater than zero, and I haven't set up any circuit conditions whatsoever, it'll never move. It'll just stay there forever, which is exactly what we want. Except we don't really want the copper. We don't want to really want the copper at all, to be honest. And this will make a wonderful, wonderful mess. So, copper goes back in there. Iron can go... I don't know. We'll work out where iron goes later. Oh, there's some more copper. Hidden in the splitters and in the undergrounds. Uh, go away. There's some more. There's some more in there. I can see it. I can see it. Okay. So that looks like all of it. Alright. You go in there. You get picked up as well. So. I need you to be empty so I can get rid of you. So we need to plug in these belts into these lines. Uh, okay, so we're going to bring this to here, this to here. We're going to prioritize input priority left because I want to finish draining the current patches rather than using off-site ore, um, which is very subjective. Um, some people prefer to keep their on-site patches for as long as possible, um, just in case the biters back them into a corner. Um, at which point they've always got some sort of ore left over. Uh, that is a lot of iron in their inventory, which we will promptly dump in the smelters directly. That can go away, that can go away, I just don't want to see it. Uh, means we can bring this belt up. Uh, bring that that way input left and then one final belt and hopefully that'll just empty the train at which point the train can go back to its merry old copper ways and input pretty right empty 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 okay so you Delete. You got a copper load and copper unload. That's that's your mission in life. Uh, that can go in there. That can go in there. Okay. So now we've done that, we can take off these bypass lanes. We're going to officially get rid of them.
Yep, they can all go away. Because we're going to hook this guy up. Um, you know, after it gets all the important things, like... So this is Iron Unload. We're going to call this one Iron Unload 2. I'm going to give it a train as well. Uh, and some wagons. Good. Okay. Uh, wagons. Uh, okay, so we're going to set you to go to Iron Load. Inventory full. Iron Unload 2. Inventory empty. And it's got red markers because it can't actually get there because nobody's bothered building the train track. You suck, robots. Okay. You should be happy now. Go. So, you're off and about. Uh, which now means I can hook up your belts. Uh, let's just go with four. Four. It's just easier just to get under. And we'll worry about everything else later. Okay. So I'm going to go down to there. I'm going to set you to left. And we're going to bring that one in there. And bring this one. Doesn't matter because you only have one source. Again, doesn't matter. It only has one source of iron. And last one all the way. Oh, I've got cliff explosives, it seems, up there. Okay. So. Uh, that's that end of the belts done. Now we just need to do the output, which will be fairly easy in the fact that we'll bring this out one tile, bring it down. Down again, merge the two together. Don't forget, each of these outputs one fifth of a red belt worth of plate, uh, worth of steel. So, even like this, it is it is not a lot of plate. Um, okay, that's done. Yeah, we're just going to leave science actually for a little bit. Um, I want to see these trains up and running, at which point we'll have a lot more ore coming in. Uh, five, five, uh, and three train tracks. Where's the three train tracks? Ten train tracks. Where's the ten train tracks? Oh. Those train tracks. Okay, and the inserters are all the way up there. Two, three, four, five. And the wooden boxes are also up there. Okay, I'm going to get this train done. You, I want you to go to iron load, inventory full, and then iron unload, inventory empty, go. And actually manual. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, right, now on automatic. Uh, that's a wooden box. It doesn't exist. So, hopefully we'll right up here. We'll fix whatever's missing up here as our night vision runs out. Now, your robots won't take off and build things whilst you're in a train or a tank. Um, which is a great thing, but it also means when you jump on to go through a station really really quickly and to just get things built um, things don't get built because you don't get out of the train um, at least not whilst the trains on automatic 
Let's just double those guys up just a tiny bit. Yeah, that seems a little bit more. Yep. Uh, this all looks defended. That's a nice little pile of dead biters. Power is still very, very high. Uh, how are you guys doing? We now have a very, very, very full belt of steel. Um, so each time the train makes a loop, obviously all these chests are empty now. Um, we are missing a couple of inserters and chests and different things, but as the train makes more loops, um, hopefully we get to a situation where the train fills up fast enough and can empty fast enough that our steel belt should stay fully compressed, which means when it gets down to purple science, we actually have some steel on the belt, which is what we're missing currently. So with that, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We've got a lot done. We've got iron up and running. We've got steel up and running. Um, our train is probably still, unfortunately, on the outside of the wall in some places, which is something I should probably look at, because um, otherwise I'll probably come back to Hornus. But, you know, um, we got a heap of defenses done in the previous episode. So we're in tip-top shape to continue research, because we've actually got some purple science stacked up. Um, along with potentially start mass upgrading the bus because a lot of the bus is still set up on yellow belt and we actually have red belt production back at the start of the bus um so it's something we can actually look at doing in the next episode upgrading these splitters upgrading all these belts to red belt speed um upgrading the bus to red belt speed to get more throughput same time we can then look at like we're short on red circuits we could just double red circuits again um, and move our wall down. Um, power, we still need to really do something about. But again, with robots, that's, that's sort of a case of just like blueprint the whole thing, paste the thing down, and then hook up your input belts and your, and your two um, water pumps. So yeah, um, we're in good position to, to make really, really large leaps in our progress. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Thoughts, questions, what the hell I screwed up down in the comment section below, as always. And I hope you stick with me for the next episode where we sort of keep 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 the snowball going. Anyway, thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye.